fuck is that? Like that is the craziest shit I've ever seen in my life, bro. It's like it's so cool. <laughs> what is that? Big Bang Theory. Bang Bang what the is that? fuck is that? Like that is the craziest shit I've ever seen in my life, bro. It's like it's so cool. <laughs> what is that? Big Bang What the? All right, shall one. First, I want to start by giving all praise and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh by Shem Kakwadash, Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahweh Shai. Yahweh been the name of the Heavenly Father who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai been the name of his beloved Son who the world intimately calls Jesus Christ. As their true names in the Lashwan Kodash, the ancient Hebrew, double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone, and blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect. I'm back with another lesson to the Spirit and Power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And the title I'm going to give this lesson is. More things will happen that Esau has no explanation for. Okay, more things will happen that Esau has no explanation for. Okay, and as you brothers can see, the clip that I played, man, this is a a, a beautiful sight. You know, dealing with what cherry. Is that? Like that is okay, the craziest shit I've ever seen in my life, bro. Identified it's like, it's so cool. UFO. What is okay? that? Which we identified these uh what? these vehicles in the spirit, man. Okay, these are the the uh, vehicles that the angels travel in, okay, and this is the this is also the vehicle, you know, that Yahweh Shai is going to return in, okay. Yahweh Shai being being the one that the world calls uh, U.F. Uh, Salakia, the one that the world calls G uh, Jesus Christ, okay. Yahweh Shai, he's he's, he's going to return in a massive abbaship, okay. So these uh these um these chariots. Okay, are are appearing more and more. Okay, the Lord is causing this. Um, it's kind. Of, he's like he's uh causing this conversation to happen. Okay, and even uh you have the movie coming out this week, I believe, called Nope, by Jordan Peele, the one that created I I get uh not I get out but I get out, um, uh us, you know, so he's coming out with a new movie that's featuring chariots. Okay, I don't know if he's gonna have a horror mixed with it i don't know but nonetheless okay um things will happen that esau has no explanation for like people you know witnessing you know this chariot in the sky which i believe is the chariot you know you can even see the definition of it you know but people don't know what it is they don't know you know what's about to happen and more more of this is going to happen okay as we get closer to the end so i want to start here with um this is uh, Sirach 36 and 1. It says, Have mercy upon us, O Lord, power of, of all, and behold us, and send thy fear upon all the nations that seek not after thee. Lift up thy hand against the strange nations and let them see thy power. Okay, and this is the time that, you know, Yahweh Shema is about to uh, show his power, you know, because the power of the Lord hasn't been seen on the earth for, you know, millenniums, you know, to where people commit wickedness and don't think nothing of it okay it says as thou was sanctified in us before them so be thou magnified among them before us and let them know thee as we have known thee that there is no power but only thou O power yahweh here's the point it says show new signs and make other strange wonders all right so the lord's about to show new signs man it's going to be new new events happening. It's going to be new uh, uh, signs and wonders, you know, that Esau is not going to be able to explain, you know. Although the elites of the society, they understand that Yahweh Shemal Shai created all. Okay, they, under they understand what these uh, these vehicles are. Okay, it's not, a, it's not a mystery to them. Okay, but you people, you everyday people, you, you, you have no idea what these ships are. And when you hear the prophets expound upon what these are, you laugh, you scoff, you know, you think that's only in the movies. Nah, man, people are actually seeing these ships, okay? But you just don't, you don't have the understanding on these ships, all right? So it says, show new signs and make other strange wonders. Glorify thy hand and thy right arm, Yehoshai, that they may set forth thy wondrous works, okay? So more of this is going to happen. You're going to have apparitions. You know, there's, there's all type of strange uh, things that the Lord is happening or having uh, happen that the Lord is doing upon the earth that people can't explain. 
you know, unprecedented, unprecedented things, man. Okay, um, let's go to Isaiah 28 and 21. It says, for the Lord shall rise up as in, the, in Mount Parazim. He shall be rough as in the Valley of Gibeon. Okay, and in the Valley of Gibeon, what, what took place? The Lord was raining down hailstones upon the Hamites. Okay, it says, he shall be rough as in the Valley of Gibeon. That he may do his work, his strange work. Okay, the Lord's gonna be doing strange, what people will consider strange things out here, man. You know, and strange is uh let me let me get that real quick. Okay, I got the def Google definition of strange. It says unusual or surprising in a way that is unsettling or hard to understand. Okay, so the Lord's gonna be doing unusual things, man. Okay, surprising. He's gonna be coming with surprises. Okay, and 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 it's gonna be unsettling for you people of this world. It's gonna be hard to understand. You 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 gonna be complex, uh, perplexed, and confused. Okay, your mind is gonna be everywhere. But us, the scripture say, knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability stability of our times. All right, we understand what these vehicles are, man. All right, and they and they symbolize our salvation. All right, because that's how we're going to uh, be delivered. All right. So it says unusual or surprising in a way that is unsettling or hard to understand. Not previously visited, seen or encountered. OK, not previously visited or not previously seen. OK, unfamiliar or alien. Right now, these now what's about to happen, you know, leading up to the Lord's return. And you can include the Lord's return because that's that's the greatest thing ever, right there. Um, this is this has hasn't been seen before, man. Okay, these uh, 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 the things that are happening in this time. Why? Because we're in the end. Okay, so the Lord is doing strange strange acts. <coughs> that's a lot, man. It says, "For the Lord shall rise up as in a mount." In Mount Parazim, he shall be rough as in the valley of Gibeon, that he may do his work, his strange work, and bring to pass his act, his strange act, okay? So, his strange act, his unusual acts, and we know how Yahweh Bashem is now, okay? The Lord, it's not, it's not a, it's not a, a odd thing for the Lord to do a new thing, to create a new thing, you know, to bring a, you know, a strange act to pass. That's how the Lord gets down. All right, so let's go to uh, let's go to wisdom of Solomon, man, because uh, you know people are not uh, expecting this. This is a wisdom of wisdom of Solomon five. Matter of fact, let's go back to the clip. Let's play the clip again. What the fuck is that? Like that is the craziest shit I've ever seen in my life, bro. Now you see how the woman's like, "What is that?" That's the craziest shit I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, it's gonna get a lot crazier. You're gonna see more. But here it is. This word been going out for decades, you know, in hyperdrive since 07. And these people are still in the in the dark concerning these vehicles, man. It's like it's so cool. <laughs> what is that? Big. What the fuck is that? Like that is the craziest shit I've ever seen in my life, bro. It's like it's so cool. <laughs> what is that? That's amazing, man. You know, and them chariots, they know how to cloak themselves as well. It's uh, Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. It says, Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him. All right, the righteous Israelite men, so called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American men. Okay, we're standing in great boldness, man. You know, in the highways and byways, you know, prophesying the end of this place. It says, And made no account of his labors. When they see it, they should be troubled with terrible fear. And that lines up with Revelation 11 chapter. Fear fell upon them, you know, when we stood upon our feet. It says, and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. All right. And the chariots is that strangeness. All right. Because people will consider that, a, you know, a, 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 you know, sci-fi, you know, a myth, you know. It's unreal, you know, but it's gonna it's gonna be reality, man, real soon. 
you know, we're hoping this is the year that the Lord, you know, returns, you know, Lord's will this year, if not this year, Lord's will next year. Well, we know it's going to happen. It says, when they see it, they should be troubled with terrible fear. <clears throat> it says, it shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. So far beyond all that they look for. They never, they never thought, you know, they never imagined in a million years, you know, because remember, they think the green, green creatures with the, are within these ships. You know, when they think alien, they're thinking all type of stuff. Who knows, you know? But nah, it's, it's, it's the angels within these ships. You know, yeah, how shy is gonna uh, come back, uh, uh, you know, with a, with the with the biggest ship, you know, a massive ship. Okay, so nobody's expecting that. You know, <clears throat> let's go to it real quick. This is uh second edges thirteen. And 29, it says, Behold, the days come when the Most High will begin to deliver them that are upon the earth. Okay, and we know the Lord's coming back to deliver his elect. It says, He shall come to the astonishment of them that dwell upon the earth. Okay, so he's going to come to the astonishment of them that dwell upon the earth. Here's the uh, definition for astonishment. It says, Overpowering wonder. Overpowering wonder or surprise. So when Yahweh comes back, you know, the people are going to be overwhelmed, you know, with the wonder, the, with the sight of the Lord, with the with the surprise that he's coming with. He say coming like a thief in the night. So the Lord's coming back with the element of surprise. So it says overpowering wonder or surprise, amazement. Okay? An object or cause of amazement, okay? And this is going to be the greatest cause of amazement when the Lord returns. So it says, and he shall come to the astonishment, the amazement, you know, the overpowering wonder, a surprise of them that dwell upon the earth. They're not expecting it, man. You know, they're not expecting it, man. Especially since all the people, you know, they, they don't even, they don't even believe in the Lord, you know. So they're really not expecting it, especially when they see. That he's, he's a, he'll, be, he'll be considered a so-called Negro That's the last thing You know, they're expecting a damn Edomite To be up there in, in the actual clouds Not knowing when the scriptures speak of clouds Okay, it's speaking of them chariots, man Just like this one this, Just like this chariot It's able to blend right with the clouds Okay the Scriptures say that There were a pillar, a pillar of clouds by day And a, 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 a pillar of fire by night you know <clears throat> So nobody's expecting this And he shall He shall come to the astonishment Of them that dwell upon the earth And one shall undertake To fight against another One city against another One place against another One people against another And one realm against another Alright Because the Lord He said he ain't gonna meet you as a man He ain't gonna be in his flesh He gonna be a, a, a You know A, a, a superman Literally <laughs> An angelic force, man. You know? <laughs> That's beautiful, man. Alright, so let's go back to Wisdom of Solomon. Uh, five. And two. It says, when they see it, they should be in trouble with terrible fear. And should be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. You know? And that, you know, and to this world, that is a strange way of, of delivering someone. You know? But when you understand the scriptures... You understand that these ships always been around, you know? They've always been around. They were around when we, during the first exodus, the first uh, great deliverance, man. So, of course, they're going to be present in the second. It says, so far beyond all that they look for, and they're repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit, shall say within themselves, this was he whom we had and sometimes in derision? Showing you that it's the, it's the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American. That the Lord's coming back for, man, because they're not gonna say this about the other nations. You other nations that you haven't ain't nobody have you in derision. Okay? So the Lord's coming back to save Israelites. This was he whom we had sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach, going back to the curses, man. We fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor. How is he numbered among the children of the most high? And his lot is among the saints. Well, we are the saints. We are the children of Yahweh Shemal Shai. Okay? 
Yashar Allah breaks down that he is a prince of, of the Most High. All right, a prince is a son. Okay, in the beginning, we were known as the sons of the Most High, the sons of God. Okay, so, you know, now, now we understand this, man. You know, but pretty soon the whole world is going to understand that we are the children of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. The Lord is the Israelite. The Lord's coming back to deliver the Israelites, man. Okay, and more, more things will happen that Esau has no explanation for. And the chariot's just being, you know, uh, uh, one topic. You know, it's going to be a lot of things happening, man. You know, things that uh, uh, I don't even know yet. You know, but the whole the whole world going to witness it. We're in a time of people pulling out their phones, recording, you know, all of that, man. So, yeah, this is beautiful, man. What the fuck is that? Like, that is the craziest shit I've ever seen in my life, bro. It's like, it's so cool. <laughs> what is that? Right in the sky, man. No denying it, you know? That's the ship for sure, man. So Lord's Will is edifying. More things will happen that Esau has no explanation for. Giving all praise and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Shai, by Hashem Kakodash. Until next time, Shalom.